observation, explanation. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifted on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. We take nothing as a given while giving everything we can. Pulling back the curtain on every unturned stone. Our breakthroughs are broken through trial and tribulation. Wrong turns leading right to fortuitous findings. The serendipity of a so-called mistake that just might change the world. Honored guests, welcome to the 2022 Blavatnik Awards for Young Scientists in Israel. The Israeli winners are selected annually by three juries, one for each of the three disciplines, who work really, really hard to decide who are the truly best from among the very best. I thank the committee members, the organizers, and the Blavatnik Family Foundation, along with the Israeli Academy of Sciences and Humanities and the New York Academy of Sciences for creating and administering this lucrative award. To my good friend Len Blavatnik and the entire family, thank you for supporting such essential research and scholarships in sciences and changing the world. Now we're here to celebrate scientific endeavor and the groundbreaking work of three young scientists. For many years now, the New York Academy of Sciences has been grateful for the opportunity to work with Len the Blavatnik Family Foundation, and more recently, the Israel Academy in recognizing research excellence in science and engineering. First, we infect cells with the virus we want to analyze. In each cell, we have now ribosome translating both cellular and viral RNA into proteins. We can freeze the process and capture all those ribosomes and isolate the small pieces of RNA that the ribosome are currently decoding. If we gather this data for many cells, each containing many ribosomes, then the collection of ribosome footprints give us a, a really accurate and unbiased picture of everything that is being translated viral or cellular in infected cells. Let me start with a simple fact on renewable power. In a single hour, the amount of power from the sun that strikes the earth is more than the entire world consumed in a year. The most efficient and common way to use the energy from the sun is by solar cell. Solar cells directly convert the energy from the sun into electricity. How can we harvest light from the sun and store it in chemical bonds? Well, despite the progress we had made with the synthesis of carbon nitride material, we needed to develop a way to have it grow as a layer on a conductive subsite with good adhesion. Fortunately, after many years of struggling, we developed several methods to transfer this powdery molecule to any, almost any subset which was the real breakthrough that enabled us to research this exciting material for photoelectrochemical application. I study a mathematical field which aims to understand the geometry of objects in high dimensional spaces called phenomena in high dimensions. It's a pretty new direction of study which emerged as a field in pure mathematics. It's only about four decades old, but in the last two decades, it turned out to be very relevant to apply directions as well. In particular, it's highly relevant to machine learning and data science. Almost everything that has the words big data in it somehow relies on the mathematical foundation of the things that I study. Therefore, it's not difficult to, to imagine that the recent explosion in big data has given a big push to this mathematical field. The questions run to deep for such a simple man. Who I am? Who I am? Who I am? 
to science. Lechaim.